Uh, but today I'm so excited that we're gonna be starting our entire bedroom makeover. We're gonna do some home shopping. I already got a bunch of stuff that I ordered that came in as well. And as always, I'm gonna take you guys through everything with me. Ima, I'm gonna make it. Yeah, you're gonna help me make it? You guys, this is my little vlogger. You like the camera? <laughs> yeah. It's either gonna be really nice or really not. Um, and I'm actually gonna show you guys how you can hem your curtains without needing to sew. I can't believe that Eran puts up with me. I got another rug. <laughs> Okay. Is it, uh... Hey babes, what's up? It's Haley and welcome back to my channel. The girls are actually starting to wake up. I kind of see Naomi tossing and turning. I thought I would go ahead and make us a quick breakfast for them. It is Sunday, so both of the girls are going to be home today. And we've got a lot going on. As you guys saw by the title, today I'm so excited that we're going to be starting our entire bedroom makeover. It's almost been one year since we moved into this place. And I feel like the bedroom is definitely one of the things that we still haven't gotten to. So I'm really excited to get the whole process started. We're going to do some home shopping. I already got a bunch of stuff that I ordered that came in as well. And as always, I'm going to take you guys through everything with me. I'm just going to be making them some banana pancakes cakes because we've got some bananas that are getting super ripe. When bananas get to this point, they get so, so sweet and yummy. So I'm just going to be making two servings of these. And while I mash these up, let me just tell you guys how much I love Sundays. Now that Naomi has officially started daycare, the days that both of the girls are home are so fun for Evan and I because we actually get to spend time with them. Like really good quality time. Uninterrupted, no work, totally focusing on the girls. We're going to do some fun activities with them today too because I'm so happy to say that KiwiCo is actually sponsoring today's video. But even though they're home today, it's not going to stop us from getting started with this bedroom makeover. Okay, I mashed up the bananas i feel like they aren't as ripe as i usually use so i am gonna put in a tiny little bit of cinnamon sugar if the bananas are sweet enough you could just put regular cinnamon without the sugar but i'm talking like a tiny little sprinkle then a little bit of vanilla goes into the mix my girls like the pancakes plain so i'm gonna keep it simple but if i do make it for myself or for Eran, i love to either add some blueberries or some chocolate chips or just cut up fruits in general and then finally i just have some oat flour that i'm gonna throw into the mix and that's your batter already such a sweet tooth so I always try to give her some fruit on the side of her breakfast. I still feel like she has a hard time eating oranges and cuties because of this membrane right here so even though it takes a little bit of time I do take it out for her and then I just cut them in half and then it's much easier for her to eat. I just cut off the little edge right over here and then that skin membrane just peels off. <laughs> guys have seen Aliyah has been on such a dress kick lately she loves it whenever I wear a dress and I come downstairs she's like mom so beautiful spin and she asked me to spin so whenever she has a dress I ask her to spin also Aliyah this spin is so beautiful okay let's go get Naomi yeah. okay hi Papa good morning good morning sleepyhead hi say hello hello <laughs> good morning everybody Abba. Lavan is white in Hebrew. <laughs> Let's make a little some empty. Careful, remember how I showed you? Nice job. And then Ima, open it. Okay, let's do one more. Yeah. Tap, tap. Gentle. Good job. And now Ima gonna open it. You hit it, Hi. Pancakes are gone. She devoured them. I love you, I love you. Let's cut it. It's blue. You love 
ricotta cheese. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Put it right here. Hey, hey. You got it. Hey, hey. Nice job. Hey, hey. What are you doing? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Okay. You want more? Hey, hey. Okay. I want a Okay, come here, Fashion. Let's go. This girl loves cottage cheese just like her mom. You love cottage cheese so much? <laughs> She's coming to you guys. This is my little vlogger. Yeah, Naomi. You like the camera? <laughs> yeah. The girls are having fun playing with the spinning chair. She's absolutely obsessed with this thing. And Naomi is obsessed with her sister, so they're so good at playing together. I'm gonna send them not to sleep soon, and when I do, I can finally get to unboxing the new rug. Yes, a new rug. I can't believe that Eran puts up with me and all of this new stuff. And then I also got this package from Marshalls, which is basically kind of like a little end table, but it's a really cool design, so I'm excited to show it to you. So these are the KiwiCo Panda Crates. We get them every couple of months for both Aaliyah and Naomi, and these have just made playtime so much more enjoyable for us as well as for them. My kids are very, very happy on you guys already know we don't give them a lot of screen time so they've really learned independent play through all of the amazing activities that come in these crates so this is everything that came in the panda crate for Naomi for ages 13 to 18 months and then for Aaliyah okay this looks so fun this is for ages 31 to 36 months she loves animals so much so she's gonna be really excited about this one I was using the KiwiCo subscription with Naomi since she was three months old from the point that she just started doing her tummy time what I absolutely love is that it also comes with this little pamphlet that kind of tells you the best way to play with your kids and the fact that every single crate Thank you. Excited? Yes, I like it. I know you like it. You get really excited. Aliyah's already a lot older, so she can actually comprehend how to play with a lot of these on her own. Hi. It's a heart. You're right. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm telling you guys, KiwiCo has the most aesthetic toys also. Aesthetic is so important to me. You guys know I really care about what my home looks like. And there's nothing worse than the clutter of toys. The fact that they're so beautiful and so well made, they're truly designed to last. All the activities in the toys are also backed by science. They are made to be educational and really help your children develop at every single stage that they reach. You want to build it? Sometimes I play with her together. Sometimes I kind of let her be on her own because it's really good for her to kind of like use her own mind and figure out how to play with these. And most of the time she gets it right. Yeah, nice job. Yay. Naomi. I have toys for you too, Baba. So we're going to go ahead and enjoy some playtime with the girls. But I highly recommend that you guys check out KiwiCo for yourself. The fact that it comes right to your door, you don't have to think about what toys and activities to get for your children at what stages. It does all of that brain power for you. But if you guys do want to go ahead and try KiwiCo for yourself, our family absolutely loves it and I really think that yours will too. I'm going to leave a link down below. You guys can use the code Haley to get 50% off your first month with KiwiCo. Let me also just mention that it's really important for KiwiCo to keep everything accessible for all kids. So they really do their best to keep all of their prices really affordable. So I'm going to leave a link to KiwiCo down below and this will definitely tire them out for their nap today. Hey you guys, I just set the girls down to sleep and I'm so excited to finally get to unboxing these. This rug, I'm not kidding, when I saw it on Pinterest, I was obsessed with it, but it was like over a thousand dollars for an eight by 10, which is insane. This rug was just 160. It's a little bit smaller than an eight by 10, but it will still give off that vibe that I want because it's got the wavy edge, which is so cool. <laughs> If you are wondering, Haley, why are you getting yourself another rug? Well, everything in the room is like super bland and beige. As you guys know, we are currently renting this house, so they have all the walls painted white. But because we gotta just make do with what we've got, I thought it would be so much fun to add a rug that actually has some more color in it. And I can't wait to see this one. Okay, are you guys ready to see this edge? Oh, look at it, it's so gorgeous. I mean, I've seen my fair share of beautiful rugs before, but this is a whole nother level. I love the colors. It's also 100% wool, so it's a really high quality rug because this one is as well and we love it. So let me get this upstairs. So yeah, I got another rug. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but babe, I'm telling you, this is what's different though about this rug is that it's colorful. The other one was beige, and our room had so much like beige. It's in for it. our room? Yeah, it's for what's our room. What's all our room? I have to make it like cuter because I'm gonna film there, and right now it's like bland and everything, you know? Oh, wait till I sleep there. Babe, can you admit 
that wave is really sick. So it's only be on that 70s show. That's, I mean, I mean, that's kind of the vibe, right? I mean, you guys, this is officially the start of the bedroom makeover. It's the first few pieces of furniture that we're getting for the new space. I really wanted something that would be kind of like a side table, but at the same time can also work as a place to sit. So I came across this one when I was browsing Marshalls too. Marshalls Online, by the way, you guys, has so many good gems at really great prices. I always loved it when I went in store, but the fact that online they have so many options is such a good place to browse. This is literally made of velvet. It's got the most beautiful rounded texture on it. We have a rounded bed frame, so I really feel like this be perfect next to the bed. Okay, we're picking up the vlog on the next day and we are currently in my bedroom right now, which you guys can already see. It's literally a box of a space. There's really not much going on. Let me give you a quick overview. There's the most going on over there because that's actually the only spot in my room that I film my content. We've got an entire blank wall over here, entire blank wall here too. This is already some of the stuff that I gathered for the room. My bed, I'm obsessed with. If you guys don't know, I actually reupholstered this entire bed myself. I'm gonna insert some footage of when I did it. I really wanted a frame in this green color and I did it myself and it was so easy, but that's like basic basically it you guys the rug you could see it's like so neutral and everything in the room is neutral and my bedding is neutral like we definitely need a good change up here you can see all of my filming equipment because i usually film in this direction and i like having a mirror in front of me so that while i'm filming i can still see myself but as you know having two mirrors pointing at each other can sometimes be a little challenging when it comes to film so i'm also debating if maybe i should like swap this out and do something else okay here's what i'm thinking to do first first i want to go ahead and change my bed sheets i think it's going to make the biggest difference to get colorful bed sheets in a previous vlog I showed you guys that I, I bought these linen sets from H&M. I love the pastel green color and then I got some pink pillowcases so I can kind of recreate this vibe. The one thing I didn't realize is that my bed frame is green and this is also green but they're different shades of green so I have to see how that's going to look together. It's either going to be really nice or really not. I want to lay down the new carpet so we can see how the colors are looking and then finally I got in some curtains that I need to go ahead and hem. I absolutely love these because they have a little bit of texture on them and even though they are neutral they, they are a bit creamier so it's going to add some dimension into the room but the only issue with these is that the ones in the length that would match my window were sold out so i had to buy extra long ones so i'm gonna go ahead and hem them and i'm actually gonna show you guys how you can hem your curtains without needing to sew because you guys know me i'm always trying to find hacks to make my life easier and to avoid a sewing machine so let's start with all of that and we'll see how our progress goes show you the rug because I am genuinely so obsessed with this. I actually love the wavy edge and I think it actually complements the floor. It's really so cool for a rug to basically be like artwork. That's amazing. I literally had to change into shorts because man, I'm sweating. But you guys, I got three colors. I have the brown and then I have the pastels. I think I'm still gonna go with the pastels. Worst case, I will just switch it up after. But let's do it. So um, I just realized guys, neither of these sets actually come with a fitted sheet. So I can't put on this bedding until I get one. I really wanna find a king size one for this mattress. And I was planning to go to Target today anyway. So when I go to Target, I'm definitely gonna pick one out so that we can complete the bedding. So I guess until we go to Target, let me show you how I hem these curtains. It actually works out for the best because then while I'm at Target, I could also find some new cushions for my bed because you know how people have the, the pillows that they sleep on and then they have the cushions that they make the bed with to make the bed look so good. I've never had a bed that's aesthetic like that and I've always wanted one. So hopefully when we go to Target, I'm going to find some nice throw pillows that I can put on the bed. All right, you guys. So let's get to hemming these curtains. Basically, you're going to make sure to measure out your curtains correctly and then you're just going to want to cut them. I feel like the best method to do this is to just fold over your curtain straight and use a rotary cutter. It gives you such a perfect clean cut. Once you've got your desired length, we want to be able to fix this raw hem just to give it more of a finished look. And because of the fact that I always try to avoid a sewing machine, this is something that I've discovered on Amazon that is amazing. This is actually called iron on tape. And basically what it is, it's a little piece of fabric that you put between the edge that you fold over and then you just go ahead and iron it. And basically what happens is that it fuses the two fabrics together and creates a bond so that you can have a clean hem. The bond is super strong. You could even throw it in the wash. You could use it to crop your shirts if you want to shorten your denim, literally anything that you 
you need to shorten or hem, this is the perfect thing you can use to do it. I am not even kidding. That took me 10 minutes, literally. Like the hem, it looks perfect. And I didn't even need to use a sewing machine. This is such a great hack for hemming anything, whether it be curtains or like even your clothes. You want to make a crop top and you don't want it to have a raw hem. Just use this iron-on tape. It's super flexible, dissolves really well, and it's even safe to throw into the wash. It's literally the best life hack. The only thing I'm really debating right now for the curtains, I don't know if I should have them on the curtain rings or if I should just put them on the regular rods. so proud of myself i'm like oh my gosh this hack is amazing and i just realized now that i made a mistake when i measured i was supposed to cut to 98 and accidentally i cut to 89 i'm literally so bummed listen on one hand i got these curtains for like eight dollars because they were extra long so it's not a big deal i'm probably just gonna order them again and then measure it to the right size but i literally did this in the first place to try to save myself some money and now i just have to buy the same ones again because of my own mistake a part of me was just like Haley, don't include this just buy the other ones and like don't tell people you messed up but you know what we are real out here and i'm just telling you guys how it is and tell me can i still blame postpartum brain after a year because i can't believe that i just did that i was gonna show you more of the bedroom makeover but i guess that's what makeovers are right they are full of mistakes which is totally okay it's all part of the process but i guess now when i go to target to try to find a bed sheet for this bed i'm gonna look for some curtains too Finally got out of the house for a little bit and I just pulled up at Target, you guys. You can literally see it right there. Okay, what is on the list? Probably just the home decor section. <laughs> Can't believe that now I have to put curtains on the list. I kind of still want to get the same ones I did before, but I'll still browse the curtain section, see if we find something else here. I also want some throw pillows for our bed. We need a fitted bed sheet for our bed as well. I'm also looking to do kind of like a really cute shoe display corner. So if we find like a really cool shoe rack, maybe we'll check out the furniture too. All of that stuff. You know, I just love browsing Target whenever I can. <laughs> Okay, in terms of bed sheets, I don't see anywhere that they sell just like separate, so I may have to get a set. And I think this one is good. It's actually gonna match the pink pillowcases perfectly. And then I'll have an extra one for wash days, which is perfect. All right, so I'm in the bedroom throw pillow section and something I am noticing about these is that they're so incredibly big. Like, is it normal for bed throw pillows to just be huge like this? Like these ones are just too big. So I'm gonna see if maybe the living room section has some throw pillows that are like different sizes. Okay, in the living room section here, it's more like it. These sizes are a little bit more doable. So in terms of the pillows, because I already have pink and green, I'm thinking to kind of pull more in the gold tones, kind of like we had in the rug. But unfortunately, there's just not a lot of color options here. Guys, I don't know what it is. I used to come to Target and literally find everything I was looking for, but I feel like lately the selection online has just been so much better. But is there anybody else who like loves going shopping in store just so you could feel like you could get out of the house a little bit yeah i could definitely do all my shopping online but then i don't really leave the house being that i work from home oh my god you guys how crazy i literally just found something that's pretty identical to the marshall's one i picked up even though the marshall's one i liked more because it's a bit more rounded and it's also made of velvet they have the nicest ottomans here though i was even debating to possibly get a bench for the end of the bed so that i could throw in like the throw pillows and everything that we don't use while we're actually sleeping but i don't know if that's something people do because it's actually practical or it's because it's aesthetic so comment down below do you guys have like a bench at the end of your bed because i know a lot of people do and if you do do you feel like it's something you actually use is it practical or it has no purpose it's just decorative because i may come back for it but i want to see what you guys say okay hear me out for the room as much as we have a duvet i always feel like sometimes i want to just cover myself with a knit blanket and because of the fact that our duvet cover is green i think styling it with the darker pink knit blanket on top can look so good and this actually has a lot of the colors that match the rug guys i know it seems like i'm doing shopping a lot but i literally never buy home stuff like, like you saw i upholstered my bed so that i don't have to get a new bed frame and i've been using the same white sheets forever so this is me just doing a little bit of spoiling for myself <laughs> okay and out of all the pillows i genuinely feel like i only like this one because i don't know doesn't this look like something you'd find at a thrift store but like in the best way grandma chic is my vibe lately because the other ones i mean the metallic it's a little bit too much i don't love the crazy patterns i think for now i am set with just these purchases and then once we sell the bed i'll see if i need to buy more 
Oh, you guys, I'm sweating buckets. Why did I decide it was a good idea to wear a sweater? I don't even know. We have such a good start to the bedroom makeover and I think I'm actually gonna start my next video right now. I'm gonna head to the thrift store right down the street and I'm actually gonna start looking for some things to thrift for this bedroom. So stay tuned for that next video. That will probably be my next thrift with me. We're gonna do another home edition, but everything related to thrifting things for the bedroom. I'm really excited to see what kind of stuff we could find and possibly flip for the bedroom. And then our following vlog is gonna be putting everything together. All the fun accessories and I can't wait to finally have a bedroom that I'm gonna love. But for all of you guys that are watching up to this point, you, yes you, you're the real MVPs. I love the ones who stick around all the way till the end. Okay, how about this? If you guys are watching up to this point, comment down below mom brain. <laughs> because literally the whole thing that happened with the curtains, I was so annoyed because you have to admit that hack was pretty genius because everything about the hack was right. It was just my measurements that were off. <laughs> I'm also gonna leave a link down below for you guys to check out KiwiCo. These crates full of activities are such a game changer when it comes to keeping the girls busy and entertained. And it's a really fun bonding thing for us to do with them too. So with all that, you guys, I'm heading off to the thrift store and I guess I will see you in my next one. Literally, in the same outfit, we're gonna start it. <laughs> Love you all.